Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to be followed by the National Anthem. The nations are 
represented, including <coughs> included 20 of the 64 nations present in our student body. They are, in alphabetical order, Bangladesh, Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Korea, Malaysia, Mongolia, Morocco, Nepal, Nigeria, Philippines, Poland, Russia, Thailand, United Kingdom, Uganda, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam. Congratulations again. In this semester, we have witnessed a perfect storm of calamities. First, the COVID-19 virus, then the economic impact of lockdowns throughout the world, finally the emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement that also spread worldwide. This is just to say that profound changes to our world lurk just over the horizon. We are seeking and seeing dramatic changes to the workplace occur just as technical changes of the fourth industrial revolution are about to take effect. That is a perfect storm in its own right. In the days and years ahead, be prepared to address your own careers and employment in a very thorough manner. Call on every skill that you've learned here at Soul Bridge and be as flexible, innovative, and creative as possible to deal with these challenges. As we close, do not forget to thank your parents, close friends, and professors as you leave Soul Bridge. You may have to do this online, by email, or telephone. But know that every faculty member here is proud of your accomplishments. Please be proud of Solbridge and Busan. Shukamida. Thank you, President Edka. Dean Bushiki will now give the spring 2020 congratulatory speech. Dear students and future Solbridge alumni, this year will remain forever as a special time in human history. I will not say more about this. Today, I would like to congratulate you for completing your studies and for achieving a milestone in your professional and personal journey. I would also like to thank you for your understanding and flexibility as we had to make a sudden shift to online teaching. Why you will no longer need to come to the campus, you will always be and remain a Soul Bridger. We want you to feel proud of your alma mater and are working hard to further promote our school. At Soul Bridge, 2020 is the start of a new expansion cycle. We are kicking off an alumni relations initiative under the leadership of Professor Cho. He is in charge of supporting the organization and the growth of our alumni network. As soon as this will be possible, we will organize events in countries where we have significant alumni numbers. We will also use digital tools to bring you together with your fellow Soul Bridgers across countries and time zones. To further strengthen our brand, we have recruited a marketing and communications director. Professor Shane will lead our new marketing and communications strategy. To provide more and better support to our students in the elaboration and implementation of their professional project, we added to the leadership team a new director of the Career Development Center. Professor Che 
the new CDC director, brings to Solbridge a deep experience in international business development. New developments in ARMA relations, marketing and career services are supporting efforts to develop our programs. I'm pleased to let you know that we are upgrading the BBA under the leadership of Professor Park. More information about the BBA 2.0 will be shared with you in the fall. I'm also pleased to say that we have a strategy to grow our portfolio of graduate programs under the leadership of Professor John. We are planning to open a Master in Management program in the spring 2021 and will follow up with four to five specialty master degrees. These and other initiatives are part of our intent to make Solbridge a world-class business school. This is our commitment and our pledge to you. Congratulations again for completing your studies at Solbridge and achieving a milestone, major milestone in your growth journey. Good luck, stay safe, and keep in touch. Thank you, Bishiki. We will now begin the conferral of expected degrees for the BBA graduating class. The students announced today will graduate from Silverbridge International School of Business, Usong University, with a Bachelor of Business Administration, effective August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements. We will founder Kim, President Endicott, and Chairman Lee assist us on the stage in honoring the recipients to BBA graduates by country. Please welcome our representative of the 2020 Spring BBA graduates, Un Mo Gu. The certificate is expected to be presented to Un Mo Gu. The above mentioned student is expected to graduate from Solbridge International School of Business, Usong University, with a Bachelor of Business Administration on August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements. Shang 
Please welcome our BBA graduate students from Indonesia, Yobong Jarapizuma, Arakima Yunizar Saifna, and our BBA graduates from Kazakhstan, Aristan uh, Nurmashev, Anwar Alimkulov, Diana Kim, Arujan Yerumankizi, Talina Shaikina, Inju Arjan Nova, Muhammad El Tayef Akmajan. Our BBA graduate students from Malaysia, Hala Vinti Mahamud Zaki. Our graduate from Mongolia, Tesh Jargao Uyudari, Munkolod Batuga, Borgo Tamir Bilbun, Badnir Madal, Uyun. William Tuya, Aaron Bayar Tushin. Please welcome our BBA graduate students from Philippines. Christian Tyrell Labo, Maria Mikaela Dizon. Our BBA graduate students from Poland, Pavel Yapa. Our BBA graduate from Russia, Maxim Shepolov, Mazadin Jamalov. Zubkova Daria, Filomenko Anastasia. Our BBA graduate students from South Korea, Sangam Park, Yongjae Lee, Nam Hee Cho, Hyung Tae Kim, Jin Won Kim. Hyunjung Park, Yongjae Chung, Yong Hoon Cho, Jin Kyung Kim, Hyun Bin Kim. Sun Jin Sung, Jin Young Yoon, Yong Tae Cho, Simple Choi, Sang Jin Ku. Suyun Park, Hyuna Park, Heyun Shin, Yun Kyun Yun, Su Hyun Kim. Ji Hye Sar, Su Yun Shin, Ka Jin Shin, Hyo Ji An, Ha Gyeong Li. So Wan Li, Yu Jin Li, Ha Yang Jang, Se Yang Cho, Hyo Wan Ji. Hyun Jae Kim, Eun Mo Gu, Sang Won Park, Yorum Park, Chongwu Lee, Su Yong Chun, Hyungu Park, and Hering Jung. Our BBA graduate from the United Kingdom, Ismail Wifaki. Our BBA graduate from Uzbekistan, Jabokir Numenov. Zuro, Zuro Beck, Isoko. Abdurrahim, Jurabev, Timur Malik, Yudisha. Aisha Muminova, Irina Tiga, Sardorbek, Arif Kojaev, Amir Kamalov, Umidjan Tursunov, Kusan, Abdurrak Manov, Yufaruz, Okujeva, Yigrom, Karule Fazadin, Giosi Dinov, Nurjakon Rajabov, and Alexandra Chen. Our BBA students from Vietnam, Le Ha Han Nguyen, Kwa Tu Pong, Tao Ti Khan Ha, Nguyen Ti Tuet Min, Vô Hùng Trì Phạm Thị Văn Án Nguyễn Nộp Minh Thám Phạm Minh Nạt Án Đoàn Thành Thúy Vị Congratulations to all our BBA friends. We will now begin the conferral of expected degrees for the MBA graduating class. The students announced today will graduate from Solbridge International School of Business, Usong University, with a Master of Business Administration, effective August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements. Founder Kim, President and Dakota Chairman Lee, will you please join us on the stage again? Please welcome 
a representative of the 2020 Spring MBA graduates, Chuku Chuka Victor. The certificate was passed in the presented to Chuku Chuka Victor. The above mentioned student is expected to graduate from Silverbridge International School of Business, Usung University, with a Master of Business Administration degree on August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements. Welcome our MBA students from Bangladesh. Raman Mohamed Ashikri, Anik Shikhtar Nurzaman. Our MBA graduate students from Brazil, Juliana Hofstetter. Our MBA graduate students from China, Yan Xiaoyu. Jia Mongling, Zhang Zheng, Lia Jianmeng, Zhang Miao, Ma Hao, Jiang Qingchen, Zhang Hui Chong. Our MBA graduate student from India, Salutra Gorov. Our MBA graduate students from Kazakhstan, Ayman Ametova. MBA graduate students from Nepal, Shirasta Aryan. MBA graduate students from Nigeria, Uka Uka Agbo, Sunday Luzer Ikbang. Adeyemi Temu Lolua Debra, Ojebode Ifja Akinsami, Chuku Chuka Victor, Ezi Emmanuel Nemeka. Emenike Chinoso Pascal. MBA graduate student from Russia, Senya Puf. MBA graduate student from Uganda, Wa Selena Kama. MBA graduate students from Uzbekistan, Kudra Kudratov Shokrubek. Kormukametov. Marat, Akbarov Falutz, Panjiev Kusnidin, Mamanasarov Sukrov, Zakirov Maksu. Our MBA graduating students from Vietnam, Ho Thi Men, Ong Thi Tu Yuen, Tak Wu Quyen Hua, Mai Tran An Tuet, Chan Thi Min Tao. Nguyen Thi Thuy V Tran Diak Zhao An Tran Nguyen Thuyen Nu Nguyen Thi Thuy Trang No Thi Diu An Le Trung Tin Nguyen Mai Chi Congratulations and be a graduate. We will now begin the conferral of expected degrees for the MSMA graduating class. The students announced today will graduate from Solbridge International School of Business, Usong University, with a Master of Science in Marketing Analytics effective August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements. Will you please join us on the stage again? And please welcome our representative for the 2020 Spring MSMA graduates, Marjan Amangel Diego. <laughs> Certificate of Expected Degree presented to the students mentioned above is expected to graduate from Silverbridge International School of Business, Usung University, with a Master of Science in Marketing Analytics degree on August 28, 2020, upon successfully fulfilling all graduation requirements.
Let's have a look at the MSMA graduating class and the countries they're from. Please welcome our MS graduate students from Brazil. Nicole Malman, Leticia de Andre Lamos Pats. Our MS graduate student from Kazakhstan, Marjan Amekal Diaba. Our MS graduate student from Morocco, Hifa Elbert. Our MS graduate student from Myanmar, Yati Shui. Our MS graduate student from Russia, Timur Miki. Our MS graduate student from Thailand, Akbun Kate Dudnari. Our MS graduates from Vietnam, Ho Tian Din, Win T Q Han, Fan Hai Dan. Fu Ho No, Nguyen Thuy An, Lai Hong Hai, Tang Tu Ho. Congratulations to all of our graduates. It is customary at commencement ceremonies to recognize those students who through their outstanding academic performance and untiring contribution to extracurricular activities have distinguished themselves above their peers. Founder Kim, President Endicott, and Chairman Lee Will you please assist us in honoring these students? For the MBA graduating class, the spring 2020 valedictorian is Chuku Chuka Victor. For the MSMA graduating class, the spring 2020 valedictorian is Win Tu Han. <laughs> and Marjan Amenkel Diegman. For the BBA graduating class, the spring 2020 valedictorians are Li Li Ha Han Nguyen and Wu Mo. We will now hear the BBA valedictorian speech from Lady Hanway. members, parents, and all my friends who are watching through the computer screen. It feels really strange that we are ending the semester this way, and 2020 indeed has been a special year, but I'm glad that we have overcome the challenge and made it to this day. To start, I would like to express my gratitude to all the professors who have taught us. I also want to thank all the school staff 
for their assistance during our time at Soulbridge, as well as the student councils. They all have done their best to give us the best college experience. And also, let's not forget the consistent support from our dearest friends and family. With their own their support and guidance, we may not be who we are today, competent soul preachers ready to take the first step into the world. Honestly, I have always believed that each person is unique, that we are special in our own way. That is to say, standing here today doesn't make me better than any of you. In fact, I have witnessed so many talented people here at Soulbridge. I got inspired seeing how music club develop and produce their own music under the name 17 Creation. I got inspired seeing how our debater stood up and fought for their ideas with sound reasoning and words. I got inspired seeing how everyone tried their best to show all the unique characters of their countries. And I got inspired seeing each of you reaching towards your tree. The list goes on, but there's only one you. You don't have to envy others. Just always try to be a better version of yourself and never doubt your abilities. Again, congratulations to all the graduates today. You have earned the right to be proud of yourself. Thank you very much. We will now hear the BBA valedictorian speech from Unmo Gu. and our honored guests. It is a tremendous privilege and honor to stand here. Well, today is the big day for us to make a closure on this long journey and move on to the next chapter of our life. But before we move on to the next chapter, I'd like to remember those people who supported us to get here. Well, while there are many people who I should give credit to, first I want to thank our parents. They provided us the opportunity to study here in Solbridge and they also provided us the resources to develop ourselves. We should realize that not everyone gets this chance. We often take things like this for granted, we shall never do so. Some of our parents didn't have as many chances as we did at our age. Like my, my parents didn't have. But they worked very hard and hard for, to let us pursue our dream and reach them. So I appreciate all our parents for supporting and their sacrifices. We are here thanks to them. Second, I want to give thanks to my classmates and friends. All those struggles to go through final exams, midterms, presentations, competitions, and relationship so we're worries over the future. We leaned on each other when we needed. We also pulled each other when we were at the edge of the cliff. We shared victories together, but we, but we also cried together. I thank for all those moments, for them to stand beside me all the time. We wouldn't be the way, the way we are now without the support of them. So, you deserve this moment, however, why don't we finalize this journey by giving credit to those people and take a moment to text them or call them or something. Thank you. We will now hear the MBA valedictorian speech from Chuku Chuka Victor. Bong Kim, President Andy Cup, Ming Bushiki, Faculty, Staff, Distinguished Guests families and friends of the spring class of 2020. A very good day to you all. I'm extremely honored to be speaking on behalf of the graduating MBA class today. Early this year, I sat on the left part of this auditorium together with 300 people 
as I watched Terry McVeigh deliver an inspiring valedictory speech. It was quite a special event on the stage, filled with so much joy, humor, and satisfaction. And at a moment of hope, I turned to my best friend, Girl Salutra, and said, Soon, that will be us. Well, now I know that that will never be us. As together with scholars all over the world, we are pioneering the most virtual graduation period in the history of mankind. This year began with so many expectations, or brought disappointments to many, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. A year where millions of people wake up to the sudden reality of unemployment, where physical distancing has become a necessary barrier between families, friends, colleagues, and even in this moment, between the class of 2020. It has been very disheartening, but it will never define my soldier's experience. While I was here, I had the great pleasure of learning from 10 professors from 10 different countries, with each one bringing with them a piece of their heritage. I also met students from all over the world who constantly represented the best parts of their countries. Many talented individuals who, if given the opportunity, will bring hope to a world desperately in need of it. In fact, you could say that the soldier's way is not just an appreciation of diversity, but a celebration of humanity. So, to my fellow graduates, with whom I spent most of the past year, I say congratulations on crossing the finish line. After so much sacrifice, you should all be proud. We're going to a world more challenging than it was when we first arrived in Dayton. And I know that many of us are faced by the uncertainty of the future, but I will share motivational words of encouragement from my parents with you. Do not be afraid, because you're special. We're dreamers who are better equipped than we were when we first arrived in Dayton. And even if the odds are overwhelmingly against you, always believe that you can be the other one out. It's been an honor landing beside you. I will miss you all very much. And I hope that I'll be able to display some of the best values of my great country, Nigeria. I'm thankful to God for this day, and I appreciate my family deeply, who to me is the best in the world. Unfortunately, you could not be here today, but I want you to always know that I love you very much. Special thanks to all the professors who taught me while I was here, especially Professors Ayan and Roger, the words of encouragement and support, and to my coordinator, Dr. Kelvin Callow. I really hope that I've made you proud. Sobri has been quite a journey, a beautiful experience, one that will resonate in my heart for the rest of my life. And I hope that we will cross paths again sometime in the near future. Finally, to dear friends, many of who are now family, I say thank you for this beautiful experience. Our journey here may end today, but our friendship in life has only begun. Thank you once again. Please stay safe and all the best for your future. Next, we'll hear the MSMA valedictorian speech from Win Tui An. Good morning everyone, um, I'm from MS class, Master of Science in Marketing. Um, it might be strange, but to be honest, I do not feel that happy when standing here today. Because for me, finishing class in graduation in Sobridge is not a success, it is just a new beginning. I believe that Sobridge is opening the door towards a new journey, not only for me, but also for my classmates. Some of us are really good at marketing and manager of theory. Some are also with data analysis and regression, but why the others are not really into marketing research, but want to explore the world by their own thinking. And someone may be sentimental and express their emotion in their own ways. Most of us sometimes make our professors surprised and might be confused in some ways. However, at last, we feel really thankful to our, to our professors who always try to understand us and introduce new concepts in our education program. No matter what happened in the past, from now on, let's focus on our future. Think about who we want to be, what we are going to do, how we can alive, not just survive, and maybe become the chasers of our lucid dream. 
It's fine when you feel tired. You take a rest and look back at your journey. We may review it or not, but I hope that someday you can reach out and connect. All of us can take a leap and find out a better version of ourselves because our life and abilities are infinite. Thank you for your listening. Finally, we'll hear the MSMA valedictory speech from Marjan Amandil Diego. Dear graduating class of 2020, I'd like to congratulate all of you on achieving this major milestone. And it's a great honor to, uh, to deliver this speech on the behalf of the graduates of the EMS student. Today marks an important day, yet it's the beginning of our, of our journey. To get to this point was an important achievement. Our hard work, long, long hours of studying and constant stress have finally paid off. It's time to take the knowledge we've gained and apply everything we've learned uh, to the pursuit of our future endeavors. For some, that might be continuation of their education, and to others, uh, it's the start of their future career, of their uh, profession. Whichever the case may be, I wish all my students, all my fellow students, all the best, all the happiness and the fortune this life may bring. The year of 2020 brought us a lot of challenges and left us facing a new reality. So let's embrace these challenges and let's and let's get ahead of, oh, let's get ahead of the change. Let's find our purpose and take our share in shaping the new world. From the bottom of my heart, I congratulate. I, I wish you all the best. And finally, once again, I congratulate all the graduates of 2020. Go forth into the world and do great things. Thank you. Thank you all of our graduates and congratulations to all of our valedictorians. We will now share the brief story of Usal Educational Foundation's creation by Dr. Jung Woo Kim. Jung Woo Kim established the Usang Educational Foundation in 1954. The war left the country in very poor conditions. Compared to other cities in Korea, Daejeon was one of the worst. Elementary schools were overcrowded and in deteriorating conditions. Many Koreans did not dream of completing their studies, being more concerned with making ends meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr. Jung Woo Kim established the Usang Educational Foundation in 1954 in order to teach practical and transferable skills to the young generation. This was a meaningful transformation from a stationary business to an educational foundation. According to Dr. Kim, the priority for young Korean men and women was gaining technical knowledge over intellectual knowledge, as getting a job was their biggest concern. Rebuilding the Korean economy through education was a must for Dr. Jung Woo Kim. Wusong derives from a combination of two words. Wu and Song. Wu means eternal and constant, and Song means pine tree in Korean. It was Dr. Jung Woo Kim's nickname and reputation. An eternal and constant character, strong like a pine tree. Dr. Sung Kyung Kim was appointed president of Usong University in 1995. He traveled around the continent and signed various MOUs with universities in Japan, China, and other nearby countries. In 2004, he established the Nanjing IT Center in Nanjing, China, and the COVID IT Center in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. In 2005, he became the chairman of Usang Educational Foundation after his late father, Dr. John Kim. In order to go global, Chairman Kim established Silbridge International School of Business in 2007 to serve as the Asian Center of Excellence in Global Business Education by educating the next generation of Asian thought leaders. It was named Seoul Bridge, after the Korean Seoul pine tree, and the English bridge. The implication 
being to be a strong bridge between Korea and the rest of the world. The Usong Educational Foundation will now recognize the Usong Global Scholarship members. These students were chosen for their outstanding contribution to Soulbridge through academic achievement, social involvement, and leadership ability. Founder Kim and President Endicott, will you once again uh, uh, join us on the stage to assist in recognizing the scholarship members? Juliana Ostetter. Foundation scholarship member awardees are Lei Ha Han Hui, Alexander Chen. Congratulations to our awardee. Thank you for the next time. Everyone, please, if 
you would stand for the school song. Again, we wish you the best in your future endeavors.